Good morning. It is a Thursday morning. We've got some rain out there. We've got snow in the mountains. We've got a little bit of wind that shows up tonight. Got not much in the way of surf along the coast. And we've got a weekend staring us down. And the weekend looks dry. So for the first time in a little while, we've got ourselves... You know, it's a little dry weekend. Last weekend certainly wasn't the, that way. Um, and the rainfall accumulations today, there are flood watches and things like that, but that's mostly about uh, the rain that we've already had, right? Sort of just a, a cumulative rain. A little bit more rain isn't going to help. It's going to create a little bit more urban and small stream kind of stuff. So this is Steamer Lane. Good morning again, and welcome to almost the weekend. I right know. This is uh, Steamer Lane here. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. And the elephant in the room. I, 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 I'm going to talk about this later, but we did lose. Uh, sorry about that. I lost my my focus there. Um, Dennis Richmond, who is a good friend of mine, kind of like kind of brother. I want to say dad, but he wasn't that old. But he passed um, yesterday. And so it's kind of a big story only because he probably was the I he was in, in the Bay Area, I think in the country, probably one of the first black men to be an anchor of a major market newscast. I think he might have been the first. It's funny, we can't quite track that down, but he uh, he's pretty special in my life. I'm going to talk more about him on another post because I got to do weather. I don't got to. I get to do weather. Thank you. But I just don't want to, you know, pat, br brush over that. It's definitely a hard time. Like yesterday, we had to talk about on the newscast, you know, hey, Bill, what do you think of Dennis? What? And I did all that, and it, I didn't have any time to process myself which was weird. So I'm sort of, you know, I'm not, uh, yeah, exactly right. So, but I'm fine. I'm just more like, just need to sit with it a little bit. So I'll, but I will put something up about him eventually um, that, uh, that will do him justice because he was awesome. Okay, so here is, he used to call me surfer dude, actually. What do you call me, surfer dude? Yeah, in the, when I first started there, he'd go, yeah, surfer dude's got the weather. I swear to God, major market. It was hilarious. And back then, I was probably, I think I was the only surfer, you know, that was doing big market TV weather. But anyway, he called me that surfer dude. And I was like, yeah. And he called me Billy too, which I loved. Um, okay, so here is uh, Steamer Lane, kind of chunky out there right now. Here is the satellite loop. This is the system we're tracking. You see the warmer air coming in underneath and then this cold air is going to filter in behind that's going to play into the snow levels this is all today when we get to tonight this low comes in here and that's where the wind shows up so we're going to see some wind as well we might see some kind of a wind watch or something like that um, there'll be wind watches and advisories up and down uh, california southern california you're going to get some rain finally here are the uh, National Weather Service watches and warnings for our area, for our area, for it's all our area, isn't it? Um, but for Northern Central California, wa flood watch here, right? And that we that's shouldn't be a problem. It's just going to be nuisance flooding. And then here you got uh, some concerns for some heavier rain uh, in you know the, on the peninsula. And then you have a wind watch here and a winter storm warning up in the mountains there. Uh, Los Angeles makes me happy to see this uh rainfall right in on the fire zones in the fire zones santa barbara uh down south into malibu long beach and that's all good stuff because it's not major rain it's a half inch of rain it's a quarter of an inch of rain maybe an inch of rain in the hills but very beneficial rainfall for southern california so that's sort of it doesn't sort of, it does help greatly with fuel moisture and concerns for future fires because it's going to dry out again in terms of not raining for a while. And you'll see a Santa Ana develop at times. And with that fuel moisture is high, it's not code red like it was. Here's the GFS. This is sea level pressure and the lines and then showing kind of estimated rainfall. This is the GFS. Here is the system for today. And here we are for this afternoon. So see it kind of push through pretty quickly. And that, see the low, can you see the bullseye here? That's the wind producer. That's going to drive the pressure gradient, which kicks up tonight as it gets closer to the coast. And so then this is uh, Thursday afternoon. And then this is Thursday late night or early Friday morning. And then there you go, right? Loving that. And then you see the pressure bars, so the pressure gradients turn up a little bit. That's on Saturday, Sunday, especially in the mountains. It'll be breezy and it looks breezy up in the north part of the state, really right through a little bit of part of next week. 
And we're looking for the next rain right there. That's it on, uh, geez, the 13th, right before Valentine's Day. It looks like it's going to rain or should rain. And then you see a little clipper goes by later on. So we're kind of, we're in a position now, which I'm sort of, I'm, we're in sort of, we're in a more typical winter weather pattern where it feels like it, right? So the ice has been broken. We've got rain. Northern California, you're back to where you need to be rainfall percentages for the most part. Southern California, you're coming back. Um, this is eastbound I-80, so to Springs. Snow levels are moderate right now, just above Blue Canyon. They are going to kind of creep up a little bit. So above 6,000 feet, you're going to get a lot of snow. Below 6,000 feet, you're probably going to find a snow-sleet mix, so you're not. it's going to be a little different. Then tonight and tomorrow morning, the cold air settles in, and you'll see snow perhaps down to Colfax. So keep an eye on that. The roads look like they're open. That's I-80 now. Of course, this is as of uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. Here we are. I think we're in Truckee now. Let's take a peek. And yeah, we're at the Truckee Bridge, and you can see almost, see a real sleety, real rain. Now, there's still cold air in there because it was cold last night. But the warmer air is going to filter in um, in the next few hours. Uh, you can see the Truckee River. I think that's Truckee River, right? I can't really quite make it. I, I think it is, yeah. I should know that too, shouldn't I? But I think that's Truckee. Yeah, it's obviously the Truckee River. Um, and it's flowing, right? So that's good for you guys that want to go rafting this uh, summer on the, on the Truckee up out of Lake Tahoe. Hopefully, now the last few years have been hard getting water in there. Okay, so here is, here are, here we are, I know, right? Here we are. When I first started this job, um, you, one of the things that you realize about the Bay Area television market, and this is a long range model we're going to look at, and I'll make this story quick. But when I started, you've got to realize you've got Stanford, Cal, um, San Jose State, San Francisco State. Hayward State. You got all these, you got a lot of smart people. And then you got Silicon Valley. You got a lot of Bay Area lists. Here's the thing with us. Like, not me necessarily, but the whole of the Bay Area, it's a different TV market. It's really smart people. It just is. But I digress. What I did, you know, and I just kind of struggle with the English there because I'm not, I didn't do well in English. Um, I did, I mean, I did well. I got B's and stuff like that, but I wasn't crushing it. But it was funny, anytime you'd say something, especially in live TV back in the day, because everybody watched, right? Um, you'd say something grammatically incorrect, like further versus farther, farther, further. English teachers from around the Bay, I would literally, if I used further in the wrong way, if farther, further, you know, there's a difference. Farther you can measure, further is kind of just uh, just an arbitrary number um, or just sort of an estimate. <clears throat> A is for measurement, in my mind, and the U is for further. But um, you, you, you would get letters, and it would be they would be stern letters because these were old school World War II babies, post Depression era people who it was like you're going to be on TV, you better get your English right, which I, I definitely agree with. But I was anomalous in that they, I, you know, and that, I, I guess I learned over the years. But that was really interesting. I mean, you, it's a smart town. You say something not right. Oh, you hear about it, and it's that's that's part of the beauty of um, part of the beauty of this job is probably I I learned a lot just from having the job because you guys would go Bill can't do that can't say that don't say that so over thirty five years of being corrected by PhDs from Stanford and Cal and San Jose State and Hayward State and Napa or not Napa Sonoma State <sighs> I know so I'm still yeah, I'm very careful with my words even though I, it's not quite as perfect okay. Anyway, so I thought that was always interesting. So here we are now. Here's this, this long wave pattern. This is 500 millivar verticity. This is, um, verticity is the area that creates instability. So the reds and yellows, are, will, if there's fuel around, you'll get rain. So in this case, it looks like, the, you know, I, I'm sure there's a little fuel left over. So that's the system we're watching now. It tweaks through. This is this afternoon. Pulls up. See, that's when the cooler air starts to pull in. And then this is this fr Friday afternoon. Little bit of something, but I don't think, I just don't, I don't, the models aren't really so much in terms of rain for Friday, but there is a little disturbance. But right now I'm looking at today and then tomorrow should be a drying out day. And then you see this trough, that's sort of a little inside slider. See that in the corner of the state. And then that drifts off. And a little deeper low, Southern California, hello. I look down in LA. You guys gonna get a little rain there, right? So 
And that's not too bad. And then that's what day is that for you guys in LA? Back it up a little bit. That's, you know, that's Sunday, Monday a little bit, something like that. Maybe a little more than that. Maybe, geez, yeah, Saturday. The weekend looks a little unsettled for you guys, as we pointed out earlier. And then there's something there. That is on the round Valentine's Day right there. So that's interesting. Again, we're kind of getting into fantasy land now. It looks very, it's very unsettled map. There's a big ridge of high pressure there. That is on the 16th. And then that clicks through on the 17th. So what does it mean? What does it all mean? It means today's wet, tomorrow's going to be your day to do stuff. <laughs> That's how I look at it, right? You can look at all the stuff, but then you got to go, How's this, how does this translate to me? Weekend's going to be money. Even in Southern California, you're going to have a few clouds, maybe a few sprinkles. But for the most part, weekend in Northern California is going to be drying out. You see the drip on the camera lens at Palisades Tahoe. See the drip? So that tells you it's not as cold as it's snowing, but it's that camera lens isn't frozen, right? You wouldn't be seeing dripping water. So warmer air kind of pushing in in this um, in this hour. This Palisades 360 cam, Gold Coast. I guess that's what we're looking at. Um, and I think they do a temperature right here. Yeah, 27. They got 27 degrees Fahrenheit, but this is up at high camp. This is way up the mountain. That first picture was down the mountain, down lower. This is, let's see what we got here. I love these cameras. I mean, it's awesome. Um, let's see if we got anything. Is that going to show or is it just storming out? Maybe it's just storming out. Let's go here. Last one and then I'll leave you alone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll do something um, on Dennis later on. Here's the Funatel uh, down at the base. And I don't get a temperature with this guy, but uh, we do know it's 27 degrees at the top of the mountain, but it's at the top of the mountain. And you see the ground, how wet it is. Snow's not sticking, right? It is snowing and you'll get snow. You can get snow at 38 degrees. And I suspect it's right around 31, 33 degrees, something like that. But you can see it's not sticking. It's not a real cold storm. Now tonight and tomorrow morning, the snow levels will drop aggressively. Okay, so hope you have a nice day. Sorry, I'm not super chatty today. I'm just like kind of, again, still processing. I loved Dennis. He was meant a lot to me. Um, and I'll try to put something together that it does him service.